Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a house furnace to kill seasonal flu virus. It works so well, I'm pretty sure that it'll kill any kind of viruses including COVID-19 using a special UVC lamp and a special air filter. If you're going to set up your furnace to trap and zap, make sure it can support MERV 13 rating. MERV stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. We'll talk more on MERV rating later in the video. Here's the simplified schematic and the process flow of the system. The system is activated only when the furnace fan is on. This will energize the 24 volt transformer. Then the 24 volt transformer activates the relay. Then the relay activates 110 volt power supply. That final power supply turns on the UVC lamp and the UVC lamp will shine radiation onto the air filter. Here's a look at the whole system. UVC lamp, MERV 13 air filter, and the furnace. There are many variations and sizes of UVC lamps that you could buy. This particular model is readily available. You can buy it from your local hardware store or from online. I bought this one from my big box hardware store and bought extra UVC replacement bulbs from online. It is super easy to set up and use. Next, go Go to your local hardware store and look for a MERV 13 rated air filter or equivalent. MERV stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. The higher the MERV rating, the more the air filter can trap smaller particles. A MERV 13 rated air filter can trap particles as small as 0.3 microns to 10 microns. But your furnace is more air restricted. In other words, your furnace will have to work a lot harder to search circulate the air and you'll need to change the air filter more often. A point 3 microns air filter may not be small enough to trap some of the smaller germs and viruses. But the good news is that as the air filter gets older it can trap more smaller particles. Our goal is to trap a virus long enough for the UVC lamp to destroy it. Let's first turn off the power supply to the furnace and see how the system is set up. Here's the neutral wire that we need and here is the ground wire. Let's look from the circuit board. Here's where the neutral wire would connect and here's where the EAC connection. What is an EAC? EAC stands for electronic air cleaner. We only want our system to turn on the UVC lamp only when the air is being circulated. The EAC terminal is only rated up to 1 amp max, which means we could not just plug in any devices without knowing the power ratings. So we're going to use the EAC power supply just to activate the 24 voltage relay. The relay switches on 110 voltage power source. This 110 voltage power source will supply the power to our UVC lamp. Here's the whole light drill for the UVC lamp. The lamp must directly shine onto the air filter to kill any potential trapped bacteria and viruses. But the UVC lamp must be time controlled, otherwise it will burn through the air filter elements if it's left on too long. Here's the inside view of the lamp. Here's where the air filter will go. And here is the furnace fan. Let's finish by installing the new air filter. And don't forget to put up a warning sticker for the UVC light hazard. Let's see the system in action, shall we? The final 110 voltage power is supplied, which turns on the UVC lamp. An LED light indicator on means the lamp is energized and zapping any airborne bacteria and viruses. Here's a look at from the inside of the furnace. And no, 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 I did not look at the light. Only my camera did. Let's look at the air filter side. This is where most of the action is happening. This is where any live bacteria and viruses make it trapped and zapped forever. Ever, 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 ever. Please take a moment and smash that like and subscribe with the notification on.